2017, the new Ocean Kayak Tridents came out. I thought a great way to promote it would be to go on a long distance tour. The plan was to paddle and fish Florida for a few months, then paddle and fish my way home to Virginia. This is the video from the tour, the good times, the bad times, everything from this tour, the Trident Fishing Tour. All right, I'm here at um, my camp spot and found a school of black drum. This 30 incher. There's a couple of them in here. Here's another one. Buck. This is New Turkey Key. Um, really cool spot. Got the just a cool little lagoon in here. Ended up being just really wet and cold, wet and windy, and uh, kind of a cold day now. Right there, Black Drum. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go over there and start fishing there. I have to go to Hawk Key, which is not that far. Tomorrow's a fishing day. So already starting with a rough week with camping again. Broken tent pole. Too windy. Kept running them over, kept running them over. I saw him. This is Hog Key, and where I camped before was right over there at Wood Key. My tent's holding up in there. It's uh, I think this this cross beam is going to keep it widened out. See how that it widened it bows it out right there. So this is keeping it from uh, fully collapsing. This is a cool place. I'm I'm, I'm liking it. I got a little bit of breeze here uh, coming around the corner from here. It's uh, still really windy. Low trees that give me a little bit of breeze too, and um, lots of dragonflies. So I'm hoping that's going to be less mosquitoes, but I don't know. Pretty small one.
Oh, he's, yeah. Ready. Alrighty. Feeling a lot better today. Tent's fine. Uh, that bar really helps out a lot. So, I'm just going to do my yoga practice real quick, and then I'm going to launch and get to fishing. Can't get him from the kayak because uh, it's too much wind. I keep getting blown into him. So I stopped. I had to make a cast because I saw a snook right there. And so I made the cast and cut this little red. So I'm going to make some more cast. Jesus. That's a trout. It took me three times to hook him. He went at it three times. He's a nice one, too. UFC.com this morning and Noxie Ferguson in that top 15. I think Habib is, is maybe at number 8 or maybe he was 13. I think Habib was 13, but just crazy how talented these two guys are. And at least for me, Kenny, Tony Ferguson, as watchable a fighter as there is in the sport. And I think maybe for me, the best example of the modern day mixed martial artist that transitions from one skill to the next so, so fluidly and so seamlessly, it's just hard to to find any gaps in anything that Ferguson has done. I know he doesn't have the undefeated record like Khabib, but I think if Nurmago Medov is to expose some weaknesses from Tony Ferguson, largely he'll be the first in the UFC, at least over the last three or four years, to do so. I think that's very true. And, and it's interesting because both these guys, sometimes it can take them a little bit to get going. And once they get the, their momentum, man, uh, it, they're just pretty much unstoppable. So I'm very curious to see if both these guys start to feel themselves during the fight. So I'm really curious to see Ferguson off of his back. You know how good a guard he has. It's just a fascinating matchup. I think Joe Rogan said on our pay-per-view broadcast that it was the fight he was looking forward to. All right. So now it's 6.30 and there's still a steady stream <laughs> of rain that's only hitting right here. There's nothing south and I can't really tell there's nothing north, but damn, there's blue skies over there. So it's just <laughs> the, the line that's coming straight from this way, straight through, is just pumping in showers. Just pumping in little showers. That was a good day. Um, fishing was good. I, I, those big snook are coming out. That's what I saw today. Uh, saw, you know, Hog Point, Hog Island is cool because I saw it. That was my first gator I saw the day before yesterday. Saw those big school of snook where the wind was fucking me up. And them bitches just look like logs. They aren't even like facing anywhere in the school. They just like are hanging out. It's crazy. So kind of spooked them out, but it was interesting to see those things out in the open like that on a flat uh, right behind. And, and, and I. I heard him smack at something, and so I made a cast there, but then I just kind of kept moving, and then I ran into him. So, um, 
yeah, they're out and about. So I'm looking forward to, to tomorrow fishing that area. And I, I know a lot of good spots there because there's a lot of creeks and stuff in this area. Beetles get all over the place, crawl around all night until I turn the light off. It's been slow mornings. Ty's just now getting up. Just going there. All right, so I'm halfway down this this line to Shark Point, and got storms popping. Um, and the water, there's a lot of fresh water coming out of here. Um, it's still salty, but there's a lot of. Look how red that water is. Real tannic, real tannic water. That was a really long day. Really long day. I wasn't expecting that I was gonna do that today. Made it Cape Sable, and I've seen nothing but monsters today. I've seen tarpon. Saw a giant sawfish, saw a giant alligator, saw another giant shark, and here I'm landed here at, uh, at Cape Sable, and there's gator tracks everywhere. Small gator, but they're damn sure coming out here. At least this one ain't that big. One I saw up the, up the way here was way bigger. All right, I'm gonna set up camp. Lots of horse flies here. So today, uh, it's all fishing today today. So I'm pretty pretty happy I pushed really hard to get here today, but it's all fishing day today. Uh, uh, all I have to do is get to the that, that Ingram Lake Pass um, in that middle cape where I was last time. And I think I could do that by a creek. Oh, sorry, I haven't had a coffee yet. I think there's, I can do that with a creek that goes down the middle. I've seen boats go in there before. That's a long way, though. Long, windy way, but I, that's what I'm going to do today. Instead of going around uh, the Cape, I think I'm going to take the inside route. All right. My camp is right there. I'm going to start right there. I'm here at Little Sable Creek. And I just talked to the captain outside. He said this goes through. Low tide is pretty skinny. He also said that the snook are not out here because the water temperature got cold. Makes sense. It was, it's gotten cold with these east winds, and, and I ain't seen. I haven't seen a goddamn fish out there. And the last time I was here, I saw lots. <laughs> it was also closer to 80 degrees. It's colder now. Um, so what I might do is I might fish around a little bit, see if I see anything. If I don't see anything. I might take this incoming and take this creek all the way through. All right, so it's sucking out here. I'm gonna make it through the cut, through the creek. Uh, now it's high tide and uh, get the licking. Up. Whew, a lot of that was super tight through this creek. I do not see how boats go through there. I guess they do. I've seen boats go in there, but I do not see how boats go through there. There were some spots. I had to put the rods down. All right, I'm here at the uh, the Middle Cape Canal. Like from up there, that's where I camped, right around that corner there. And it's blowing like 30 out here in the open. I knew it was gusty coming through there, but it's blowing like 30 out here. So I gotta just guess that it is um, breeding season because this beach has gator tracks and holes. This beach has gator tracks and holes all over it. And I'm gonna camp here tonight. <laughs>
there's a big, big gator. He came all the way out. I didn't grab my camera because I didn't think he was going to come all the way out. He came all the way out, went under, got closer to the beach, popped up and see what saw where I was. And he was like right there. So I'm expecting him to pop up like right there. I think that's him right there. could easily tear me up and kill me. I think this is a sawfish. tide line claw marks halfway through Lake Ingram and it's windy today but I'm halfway through it's kind of cool water's high enough for me to get up along the sides here and uh because the current, the channel's way out there and I'll be in the wind. At least I'm gonna protect by the wind. This is pretty cool. This is right at the end of the canal. This is where they have it separated off from the fresh water to the salt water. So this is where the, this used to be a canal that went all the way through and then they separated it, but it's got kayak access. So you can get in here and, um, go through here with your kayaks you can walk walk up and uh transport over so that's pretty cool i'm on uh clubhouse beach and this is a really cool field back behind here really cool area but this is the last camp uh before i hit flamingo this is the last beach before flamingo so I'm gonna hang here uh, it's, already, it's just noon, but I, you know, I wanted to bust here with a lot of hot, with high water. Um, yeah, I could have waited this morning. I hit current against me when I hit the, I hit the incoming current there at the channel. But I'm glad I did that and suffered with that current there because out here, I didn't want it outgoing. So I had either a little bit of incoming or maybe even slack high tide when I got here because I knew I was going to have the wind against me, and I did this 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 entire way almost from the point over there. Almost all the way from that point to here was headwinds, and that sucked a lot. Um, alligator tracks all over this beach also. <laughs> I really like this spot for hanging out today. Uh, it's such a big field back here. Uh, it's really pretty. I really like this. It's been a sit in the tent all day, eating, drinking my water. I haven't left water, too. <laughs> I had seven days for it, and I'm coming up on it. It's pretty fucking low. Not the wait. Have to wait a little bit in the morning, and hopefully the wind doesn't come out too bad. And I'm kind of hoping the south winds don't eat up this beach, and I start losing my tent. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. I should I should have set up over there. I should have set up that spot, or even back some, but. Fuck it. Tent's already falling apart. <laughs> pretty wise last night now, and a rainbow, pretty rainbow.
mosquitoes are fairly bad this morning. Gonna move my tent, get my tent down, and I'm moving. Right now it's calm. First time in a week. It'll pick back up later. Alright, so I'm, I'm at Flamingo, the campground. Made it here in just about three hours. Here's where I'm at now. Dan is gonna come down, uh, thankfully, and bring me bring me that lunar tent. Um, I really like this tent, and I'd like to get poles for it later on. But I'm kind of done with fiberglass poles for this this tour. <laughs> I bought a tent as a backup. That's at Gene's house, so uh, um, I'll get that when I get there. I have to use this Coleman tent for the next at least two weeks. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to launch and go and, and try to mess around and whip Ray Basin and um, look for those snook in there. 